The nominees for costume design are Michael Wilkinson, American Hustle Ellen Moronik, Behind the Candelabra Catherine Martin, The Great Gatsby Michael O'Connor, The Invisible Woman Daniel Orlandi, Saving Mr Banks And the BAFTA is awarded to The Great Gatsby <laughs> There's one person I absolutely have to thank, and I have to get her name right. She told me that before I came on stage. Um, my assistant costume designer, um, someone who's worked with me for over 16 years, Sylvana Azzy Harris. Thank you. And um, of course, to our wonderful hair and makeup team, um, Kerry and Maurizio, you did an amazing job. Thank you. And of course, I am very lucky because the wardrobe department that I work with, I've worked with for over 20 years, and they're in Sydney right now making costumes for a musical that we're working on. Um, and I call them my golden girls because they're a good luck charm. They always help to bring home the prizes. So thank you, girls. Thank you. Congratulations, you have Aww. won Best Costume for Great Gatsby. I mean, it's, the costumes in your movies that you make with your husband, Baz, are always just... I, we love the way that you sort of modernise an old classic. Where did you begin with going to this era? Well, with Baz, you always start with the source material, so it's back to the book. And one of the interesting things about Fitzgerald's novel is that he was obsessed with clothes and about how they described who you were in terms of your position in society and so interestingly enough um, a large number of the uh, actual outfits of the characters are described within the book so that's always the starting point the source material okay and an incredible amount of research there as well and you worked with um, Michi Prada as well on some yes. of the on some of the outfits how was that as a collaboration well it was a dream come true <laughs> I mean an incredibly stimulating fun great adventure and an incredibly generous and good collaborator so it was really amazing also numbers wise i mean you had over 300 extras in some of, of those scenes that's an incredible amount of detailing and i'm sure that you're sort of meticulous about checking everyone is <laughs> that's such a huge workload was there did it ever seem impossible uh, yes <laughs> <laughs> seemed impossible a lot <laughs> but i think um you know, a movie, unlike the theatre, where there's just one opening night, you have to break it down into multiple opening nights and you just have to say, has, you know, is everyone clothed today? Is, um, do I have something on every, are no actors naked? And <laughs> if they're not, you've probably achieved something. Achieved so, something. yeah. Um, also, um, the detailing that you use, uh, as Joel Edgerton said that, uh, who, yes. who played Tom, said there was a really nice touch that in one of his suits, you'd lined it with skull and crossbones and yes. it helped him with his character a little bit. So details like that, that's incredible. I think, I think it's really, I mean, that is really my role as a um, costume designer. It's to work with my colleagues who are the actors who have the daunting responsibility of with the director funneling the story down a piece of plastic and glass you know everyone's expectations and I what I hope to do in my work is just to support them and their characterization so job done yeah you've done an incredible job um two wins tonight congratulations oh, thank, you. Thank, thank you thank you